watch this road There's a lot to live But you got to choose Well, you used to be singing the blues But now I'm singing the news Howdy, neighbor. Welcome to the Good News Program. This is your host, Mike Vaughn, and I want to thank you for tuning in today. I want to continue on our program today talking about being in Christ. What does it mean to be in Christ? Because as you read through the New Testament, you'll see this terminology used a lot, in Christ, in Him, in whom, through whom. And the Apostle Paul especially used this terminology—excuse me, terminology—a lot. And uh, first of all, we're saved because we're in Christ. We're a new creature. That's what it says in Second Corinthians five seventeen. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature or a new creation. Thank God we have the nature and the life of God because we're in Christ. And then we're his workmanship created in Christ. And what we've been talking about on the last programs is that we have deliverance because we're in Christ. We've been delivered from the power in the kingdom of darkness. And by his stripes, we were healed. In 1 Peter 2, 24, it says, by whose stripes ye were healed. So because we're in Christ, he is our Savior and our Lord, then healing belongs to us. And also we have divine provision and fruitfulness in our lives because of our position in Christ. And also we have answers to prayers. So this, these are different things that I have been and I'm going to be talking about even more. So get on the phone, call your friends and neighbors, and let them know the Good News pro Program is on so you can be a blessing to them. First of all, I'm going to share a song with you. And this song here is on our Simple Things Project that we're offering as a special offer today entitled, I Believe. And that's a very important word there. Believe. You've got to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And so you worship the Lord and sing along with me. And I'll be back in a few moments to pray with you. You enjoy this. Oh, we love you, Jesus. You are the center of our life. wasn't there when he left his throne to all this earth and saw I wasn't there when they rejected him and they mocked the Son of God I wasn't there when they placed the thorns with anger When they cry, crucify, and to the cross he was laid. But I believe, I believe, I believe. Yes, I believe. He died for. Wash my sin and set me free. Oh, I, I believe. Yes, I. blood ran down from his hands and his feet. I wasn't there to see the pain that he bared for you and me. I wasn't there at the tomb when he rose the third day. 
it came into my heart and the burdens they rolled away and I believe I believe I believe yes I believe you died Folks, we got to do the same thing. We got to stop doing stuff in our strength. We got to stop trying to figure out things with our own mind. We've got to go at things in the name of the Lord, putting Him first. Hallelujah. Now, sometimes it may feel like you're going alone, but I guarantee you, if you'll just step into the water, amen. Just step into the water. Just like Peter, when he took his old number 12s and he put them over the side of the boat and he stepped into the water and that foot stayed up there. Amen. And he started walking on the water, didn't he? Somebody said, yeah, but he sank. Well, have you ever walked on the water? <laughs> I hadn't. Not, not, not even on a real calm day. On a swimming pool, I've never walked on the water. And it was storming then when he walked on it. But see, he didn't realize what was going to happen. I think Peter, he was just so rambunctious, he done it before he thought. He jumped out of there before he thought. But when he come to himself is when he found himself looking at all the storm and so forth like that. But see, we got to do the same thing. We've got to step out of the boat and knowing that God is with us and you're not going to sink. See, but fear comes at us and fear says, you're going to sink, you're going to sink, you're going to sink, you're going to sink. No, you need to get rid of that and say, I'm going to walk on the water. I'm going to be victorious. And whatever you're doing, I'm going to have the victory. I'm going to have the victory. Everything's going to be all right. Amen. Because I'm not coming in my own strength, not coming in my own wisdom, but I'm going in the name of the Lord. And you know the story. David went out there and uh, he just used what he was familiar with. He couldn't use that old heavy sword. He couldn't use all that armor and stuff like that because he wasn't used to all that. Again, it wasn't him doing it anyway. It wasn't his strength anyway. He just used what he was familiar with. See, the Bible says that we talked about it earlier, that God will bless whatever you put your hand to. But the problem is a lot of folk ain't putting their hand to nothing. Oh, Lord, why ain't you helping me? Well, you got to do something first. Amen. Then he'll help you. Then he will empower you. Did you know the Holy Spirit is called the helper? He's not called the doer. You know, that come to me one day, and I said, you know, that's right, you know, because I had studied the Greek words and stuff about paraclete, which means he's the one that comes alongside to help. Amen? So that means we got to make the first step. Amen? And then he'll come alongside, and he'll help us. 
the helper. Well, when David went out there, he was anointed by the Holy Spirit to do exactly what he did. And all of Israel stayed behind him. Did you notice that? They didn't go out there with him. They all stayed behind him. You know, it reminds me of a lot of church members. They say, oh, we're behind you, but the problem is they're so far behind you, you can't see them. I ain't seen you in a while there, brother. But they stayed back, see? But whenever he sl slung that rock and Goliath fell down dead, they all begin to holler and shout, we won, we won. Now, wait a minute. David could have said, what you talking about? Y'all back there. I'm the one that knocked the dude down. And y'all saying, we won? Well, you see, all of Israel was in David. David, on that day, he was the representative of the whole nation. And whatever happened to David would happen to all of the nation of Israel, which was God's people. And so he slew the devil. He gained the victory, but everyone received the victory. And it's the same way with us. David is also a type of Jesus. And Jesus came and he defeated the devil. And all of us, we were represented by Christ. And when he defeated the devil and he won the victory, the victory's ours. All we got to do is receive it. Thank God I'm free. I'm free at last. I'm free from the devil. I'm free from sin. I'm free from the kingdom of darkness because I'm in Christ. See, we were in Adam. That's what makes you a sinner because you're in Adam. And But Jesus loved us so much, he said, all right, I'll tell you what, I'll come to earth <clears throat> and I'll be the last Adam. And I'll let everybody get in me. <laughs> Amen. And that's what he did. He became the representative of the human race. And whatever happened to him happened to us. See, in the mind of God, when Jesus was crucified, we were crucified with him. When he was buried, we were buried with him. When he rose up from the dead, we rose up with him. We were in Christ. But now you can only receive the blessings of the covenant, which include life and forgiveness and pardon when you exercise your faith in what he has done for you. This business about everybody is automatically saved, that's falsehood, see? We do have a part to play. We have to accept what he has done for us. We have to accept the fact that he came as our representative. He came as our sacrifice. Being in Christ also means that we are more than conquerors. Romans 8, 37. Now, in verse 35 and 36, I want to remind you that Paul talked about all the persecution that they had endured. Then he said, quote, yet in all these things, in other words, even we went through all these persecutions, we are more than conquerors. Now, I love that of Paul because, you see, most people, they'll say, well, how you doing? And they'll say, well, you know, I, uh, uh, my dog got run over and, uh, and uh, then my car broke down and then my wife got run over and, and this happened and then that happened. I just don't know if I can make it. Now, Paul said a lot of persecutions that happened. They, you know, he got stoned, he got shipwrecked, and all kind of stuff. But he didn't stop there and say, woe is me. He said, but in all things, we are more than conquerors through him. And notice the phrase he uses. It's not in Christ, but it means the same thing. Through him who loved us. Then he says this. For I am persuaded. So you got to get persuaded. Amen? If you're not persuaded, you're going to be like that bottle out there on the ocean. It's like that. 
It won't stay still, just back and forth, yo-yo and back and forth. But you gotta be persuaded. He said, I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Well, it's a hard old way. You just don't know. Yeah, well, maybe I don't, but Paul does. Amen. And he's telling you right, right here that nothing is going to separate me from Christ. Nothing is going to separate me from the love of Christ. Amen. Because I am in him. And because I am in him, I share his grace. I share his ability. I share his power. I share his help. I share his love. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, friend. I hope you're enjoying that teaching on being in Christ. Thank God because we're in Christ, we have deliverance. We have healing. We have provision. And, and I am excited about the fact that we are in Christ. But there may be people watching today or listening by radio, you are not in Christ yet. Well, you can get in Christ very quickly simply by accepting and receiving Him as your Savior and Lord. You can be translated from the kingdom of darkness right on into the kingdom of light. And if you've never prayed to receive Jesus, you can do that right now. Why don't you pray with me? Say, Heavenly Father, that's right, pray with me, Heavenly Father. I believe in Jesus Christ, that He is the Savior of the world, that He is the Son of God. And I accept you, Jesus, as my Savior and as my Lord. Thank you for dying for my sin and for giving me eternal life. I receive you now into my heart and into my life. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen. Friend, if you prayed that prayer and you meant it in your heart, the Bible says that you got born again. You are now a child of God and you are in Christ. And I want to rejoice with you by sending you this free little book entitled, Now What? This little book tells you what it means to be saved, what it means when you just prayed that prayer, what happened. And it tells you, and also how to grow in the Lord. You need to begin to do things like read your Bible, fellowship with other believers, and this will help you get started. All you have to do is call and request it. You can call me at 888-429-2280. And if I'm not in the office, just leave it on the machine and say, I prayed with Brother Mike to receive Jesus as my Savior and Lord. Please send me that little book entitled, Now What? And we'll get your information and send it right to you. But if you would, leave a call back number just in case we don't uh, quite get all your information because sometimes you don't quite hear everything clear on the machine. But call me today. We want to get this book into your hands. Now what? And also, I want to invite you to come be with us right here at the Good News Fellowship Church for our next concert coming up November the 2nd. I'll be singing as usual, and my special guest will be the Revelations from the state of Mississippi. That's right, the Revelations from the state of Mississippi. So if you're looking for somewhere to go and enjoy a good anointed gospel music all evening long, good food, because we have always have some kind of good country cooking, plate lunches, concession stand food, and uh, cakes and pies, and so bring you appetite, and good fellowship, Christian fellowship, as well, all evening long. Come out and be with us November the 2nd at 6.30 p.m., and you can read more about it on our website at mvmgoodnews.com. And also, if you're in our area passing through any Sunday morning, we want you to come by and worship with us here at the Good News Fellowship Church. 10.30 a.m. is when we get started, and uh, I'm usually preaching the Word of God, and and I lead the praise and worship as well. And if you enjoy the presence of the Holy Spirit, then you will enjoy worshiping with us here at Good News Fellowship. So just come by 
and visit with us any Sunday morning at 10.30 a.m. We have a map on our website. If you don't know how to get here, just log on to mvmgoodnews.com. And I want to share with you my special CD offer for the month of October 2018, Simple Things and Singing the Good News, two music CDs for your gift of only $15 to the ministry. Now, this is a limited time offer, so call us today with your credit card. If you want to get in on this, call us at 888-429-2280. Once again, that is a toll-free number, 888-429-2280. And we still have a lot of people that uh, contact us by snail mail. So if you prefer to send a check or money order, you can do that as well at Post Office Box 550, Tickfall, Louisiana, 70466. And also I'd like to offer you uh, a teaching that I did some time back on the, uh, the roots of Halloween, and it's entitled Halloween Exposed. A lot of people don't realize that Halloween is not a Christian holiday. Well, we did uh, a teaching on it and uh, talking about the roots and the beginnings of Halloween and where it came from. So for your gift of any amount, we want to send this to you. So if you're interested in this, call us today. Again, that number is 888 429 2280. And I never like to close a program without saying a special thanks to my partners because, hey, partners, you are the ones that make this outreach ministry possible. Hearts and lives are being touched. People are being saved and blessed because you gave and because you prayed. So thank you, partners, for being so faithful to the Lord and to His work. Now, I know there's many others that are blessed by this program and this ministry. You hadn't become a partner yet. Please pray about doing so because we need more partners. God is giving us more things to do. We have other stations that we want to go on, but we can't do it without your help. So pray about what the Lord would have you do. And I believe that you'll be obedient unto him. You can call us at that number for more partnership information, 888-429-2280. Or you can log on to our website. We have a partnership information page and you can donate online if you would like. That's mvmgoodnews.com. And, uh, and also, we still have a lot of people write us, so you can do that as well at Post Office Box 550, Tickfall, Louisiana, 70466. Now, don't forget to follow us on Facebook. If you want to keep in touch with the ministry, that's one way you can do it because we're always posting video clips and, and uh, little teachings and scriptures and different things on the page. So be sure and go on the Mike Von Ministries Facebook page and also go on YouTube because you can watch this program and others on demand on the Mike Von Ministries YouTube channel. So be sure and check that out as well. Let me say a special prayer for you. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for all my friends and partners that are tuned in today by way of television, by radio, by internet, or whatever way, Lord. I just pray right now for your grace and your peace to be multiplied in their life, that you would heal the sick, that you would strengthen the weak and that you would set the captives free by your mighty power and your anointing, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray, and I believe it's done right now. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We're going to leave you with a song right now, and we'll see you next time right here on the Good News Program. Oh, put your hands together. I'm going up, not going down Well, I got my ticket, I'm heaven bound Don't you worry about me when I can't be found I'm going up when the trumpet sounds I'm going up, I'm going down If you can say with me today That all your sins have been washed away Then you're going up you're not going down But if the Savior you must deny And when he comes up in the sky You're not a going up You will be going down but I'm a going up Not going down You see I got my ticket I'm heaven bound I'm heaven bound Don't you worry about me When I can't be found I'm going up when the trumpet 
good sound time I'm going up I'm going up and I'm going down Did you ever have a friend to let you down? You needed them, they couldn't be found Well, you're not alone I said you're not alone But Jesus is a friend who really cares He'll never leave, always be there Gonna lift you up He'll never let you down So I'm going up Not going down Well, I got my ticket I'm heaven bound somebody tonight say amen on the mount of olives long ago the disciples watched as he did go to prepare a place for you and me just like he left upon that day he's coming back in the same way gonna lift you up never let you down so I'm going up, not going down. Well, I got my ticket. I'm heaven bound. I'm heaven bound. Don't you worry about me when I can't be found. I'm going up when the trumpet sounds. I'm going up. I'm going up. I'm going down. I'm going up. Up, up, up. Not going down. Not going down. I appreciate your interest in my songs and music. If you would like more information concerning my music or preaching CDs, you can write and request a product list. Send all correspondence to Mike Vaughn Ministries, Post Office Box 550, Tickfall, Louisiana, 70466, or email us at mvmgoodnews at aol.com, and our website is mvmgoodnews.com. Thanks for sharing this time with us today. We hope you have been blessed and encouraged. Remember this program is brought to you by our friends and partners. Pray and ask God what you can do to help us spread the good news. Well, used to be singing the blues, but now I'm singing the news.